If you have the ThinkPad Stack Assistant app installed, you're ready to connect your Windows device to the ThinkPad Stack system. If your device uses iOS or Android, you should go back to the playlist and select the appropriate video. First, let's make sure the ThinkPad Stack is stacked correctly. There are two currently used configurations for all four devices to interact at their best. One way is to put the router on the bottom with the speaker on top. The other way is to put the speaker on the bottom. Scenario A is a good setup that would allow you to reset your router if you need to without disrupting power to the other units. Once you have stacked the deck, you will want to connect to the wireless router, making it the hub for device and internet communication. Your wireless router will work fastest if you connect it to the ethernet cable you use for internet access. Press the power button on the router. The wireless icon on the router will blink yellow while it adjusts, blink green once it accesses the internet. The power bank and hard drive will automatically power on also. Connecting a USB cable or AC adapter to your power bank will allow you to work longer without interruption. Open the ThinkPad Stack Assistant application. And then, open the wireless controls for your Windows device. Select either the Stack 2.4 gig or Stack 5 gig router names. Then click the Connect button. Go back to the Stack Assistant and press the Initialize button. If this is the first time you are using your router, or are starting from a reset, you will be prompted to create a user password. Re-enter the password again, then click Next. If you will be the administrator, enter another password, then confirm it by retyping the password again. Click the Next button. The router will need to reset before you can use it. Click the Restart button. Once it resets, click the Ready to Go button. You're ready to connect your Windows device to the ThinkPad Stack system. If you cannot make a connection, try rebooting the system. Enter your administrator password. If you want to be logged in automatically from now on, check the box. Select Login. As an administrator, you can control numerous settings for your router. Select the Router tab, then the Settings tab. Select Network Settings. To change the type of internet access, such as wired or cellular, click the Edit button. Here, you can change the name of your router to make it easier for you to find or harder for others to identify. You can change the encryption type, press the Confirm button to save your changes, or the Cancel button if no changes are needed. You can change the password. The Setting tab enables you to set a timer to turn your router off after a defined amount of time when no one is connected and no data is being transferred. You may also want to limit speed to allow more bandwidth for other devices. Select Admin Settings, then the Edit button if you want to change your administrator password. Just type your old password, then the new one, then type it again and press the Confirm button. Under the Additional Settings section, you will see several actions. Unless you are an authorized technician, we suggest staying out of the advanced settings. It involves bandwidth and channel settings. Other additional settings will allow you to restart the router, reset the router to factory settings, upgrade the router's firmware, or turn on your advanced settings. To log out of the router, select the drop-down button. Select Log Out, then Confirm. The ThinkPad Stack wireless router can be used alone or with other stack devices. To see how, go back to the playlist and watch individual videos for the Bluetooth speaker, hard drive, and power bank. This video has been a quick setup guide. For more detailed information, please refer to the downloadable ThinkPad Stack Assistant User Guide located at www.lenovo.com forward slash stack.